Okay, so day 10 of the 60 day video challenge and this video is going to be about hair. Lately on Facebook and on YouTube, I'm noticing that a lot of naturals are cutting their hair. These are naturals who have been um, on a growth journey for a while. They're, they're two, three, four years in and they are starting to cut their hair. Anybody who knows me knows how I feel about long hair. I don't like it. I don't think it, it suits me. Um, it's a hassle to deal with. I don't like the maintenance. But I've tried. I've been natural now three years. I went natural in May of 2010. And I've been natural for three years. And I've done the long hair thing probably, I want to say... Well, it's got to be four times. Well, anyway. Um, long hair is not for me. I let my hair grow out to a certain point, and then I cut it. And sometimes I don't let my hair grow out to a certain point because it starts to get on my nerves, and I cut it. But back to the original point. A lot of naturals who have been growing their hair out for a while now have been cutting their hair. I've been seeing these cuts, and I have been falling in love with the cuts. The latest was Janelle from Kinky Curly Coily Me. Um, she just recently did another big chop because she had some damage from protective styling. And this was protective styling using weaves and braids, etc. Um, but her, her big chop looks great. It looks great. And my hair is starting to grow out. I did a fourth big chop. Original fourth big chop in November. And then I did a mini chop in January, and then I did another mini chop in March. So again, you can see, my daughter calls me scissor happy. As soon as my hair starts to get uh, grow out a little bit, I have to cut it. Or as soon as it starts to get on my nerves, I have to cut it. So that's where I am right now. I, I want to cut my hair again. I'm not going to cut it down. Right now, this is this is just a wash and go, so it's, it's shrunken. Um... And actually, I'm really happy with it today. I, w I have not been happy with my hair lately. Because it just... Uh, the change of seasons is, is really... My hair is really drying out. My hair is dry anyway. It's really drying out now that the humidity is going out of the air. And it's just really getting frustrating to me. I did a video about this on my other channel. You can, you can check it out. Um, but I'm going to cut my hair. I'm just going to cut down, the, I'm going to shave the sides and the back. I already have the back shaved, but see this is growing in so that's starting to go away. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sides down and take some more off the back because I'm probably the, one of the few women in the world who when their hair starts to grow, they get miserable. As soon as my hair starts to grow out, it starts to get longer. I get unhappy with my hair. Usually it's, you know, your hair is short, you're unhappy. Or, or for a lot of women, not, not everybody. But um, for me, it's when it starts to grow out and it starts to get longer, I just don't like it. It has nothing to do necessarily with the awkward stage. I can get through that. That's not really it. For me, it's the fact that it's getting longer. I know it's getting longer. I know that means it's going to take longer. I know that means I'm going to have to start figuring out what else to do with it. But the problem is I get a little tired after a while of just doing wash and go. So I'm somewhere in the middle with my hair. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to let this part, which is the top, grow out. It, it's longer than the sides in the back anyway from when I cut it before. Because I usually wear my hair, whether it was relaxed or natural. When I keep it short, it's always longer on the top and shorter on the sides and the back. So I'm going to go back to that, but I'm going to let the top keep growing out. What I also plan to do is, once I cut it, I'm going to put it away for a little while. I'm going to put some twists in my hair. And the twists will just allow me to just not have to see deal with my hair for a few weeks at a time. As long as I can do that, I'll be fine. I can continue to let the top grow and, you know, keep the sides in the back shaved and then do what I want with the top. Um, 
I think that that's the, what's going to make me happy because I'm just, I am not feeling my hair right now. And when I get like this, usually that's time for the clippers and the scissors to come out and I just cut it all off. I'm not going to go that route, but I am going to take some hair off and I'm going to put some twists in. So let's see how that goes. All right. I will see you back for day 11.